one, two, three. Zero, zero, zero. How are we doing today? The goal is to help out two or more customers to help people and also make money. Yo, what up, guys? It's G Money. My goal today is to eight, make 800 bucks. Let's get it, baby. What's going on, man? My name is Alejandro. I'm here for the, for the clients and the customers. I want to help a total of at least three businesses during the whole coronavirus pandemic. I want to ensure that their business is good, set up, help them save at least a minimum of $1,000 a year, hopefully $2,000 for the two years. Well, my name is Dark Side Diego. I'm here to help out enlighten new customers on opportunities that they weren't aware of and help them save a lot of money. AT&T. How's it going? This is Eddie right here. I'm, my goal today is to help out three customers, three businesses, save money. I'm Drew Gomez. My goal today is to help people save money, and I got to make some money today. My name is Will. My goal today is to help out these three businesses, help them save money, help me make money. My name is John. Hopefully, I make a couple of happy today and meet a couple of new people today. Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Ernest. It's a nice day outside. Ready to help some people, my goal today is two sales. Okay, okay my name is Cam. What, what my goal today is to help man? out two business owners, uh, just have a good time, make money. So, Yo, what's up guys? So we're here today in Van Nuys, and we're gonna help out these business owners that are paying too much for the bills, and maybe have slow internet speeds, so we're gonna help them out today. So you see these businesses right here? Take a look, take a look. These are businesses that we would literally walk into, introduce ourselves, and be like, Hey, what's up guys? I'm from AT&T. Um, you guys still use AT&T? And that's a yes or no question. Either they do or they do not. If they do have AT&T, what I do is literally discount their bill and I get paid for that. If they don't have AT&T, I offer them AT&T and I give them a better deal than whatever they have, most likely Spectrum. And then if they switch because they like the price, then booyah, I just made an easy 300 bucks. Jeez. Yeah. So usually we make like one to three sales a day. That's like average. Um, each sale starting out for a newcomer rep is 175 to 325. So if you do the math, you do two sales in a day, that's already $300 in a day, you know? So to make 100,000 in a year, you just need to make $300 in a day, that's it. Once you get promoted to like leader, now we're talking the big money. Now that's why you see me making 4,000 a week. This is where you start seeing the overrides come in, you start seeing the increase in your comp plan and it gets juicier from there. So we're, we're literally just working right now. This is what we do, we hit doors. So we're about to go walk into a business right now and hopefully talk to the owner. This one's a little busy. So whenever they're really busy, we try to make it really brief just to get in front of the owner, you know what I mean? Uh, question for you. you. Is your husband here today? He's working. He's working. Is he busy? Yes. How are you today? You guys still use AT&T for the phone, internet, and all that stuff? Yeah. Always yeah, let like them it? take care of their oh customers. God, I would get the same Never thing in the exactly with that. what you've done. Oh, which lines do you have exactly? Do you think it's three? Three lines? Like, how many phone numbers do you have? Uh, two fax and one phone, one voice. One. And the internet is fast? Yes, the internet is very fast. Okay. So, with Spectrum, you guys have like a shared broadband network. Do you know what that is? So, basically, with Spectrum, you share your internet with all your neighbors. So like around 3 or 4 o'clock, the internet starts slowing down. Yeah. With us, you have your phone line right to you, so that wouldn't happen to you. Okay. Okay, thank That's you. That's my cell phone number, so you can call or text me. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Alright, no problem. Bye. Alright, so check this out. I have this app, right? I have this app right here. It's called Ultimate Prospector. And sometimes it shows who has AT&T and who doesn't. So just, this is, uh, through Nail Fantasy. That's like the business just over there. According to this, they have AT&T, so I'm gonna walk in there and just, you know, hey, Steve here, let's get it. Oh, how are you? Is uh, Steve or Christine? Mm -hmm. Hello? 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 Whenever I can't talk to a business owner, well, I leave them one of these. You'll be surprised how many sales I make just because they call me back, because I leave one of these. A lot of customers went like shut down. So we're like we're trying to help you guys save money. I didn't like AT&T. How were they doing? I had the letter be sent out to you about the new pricing. Alright, so this is one of those stores that people don't think that like oh you can sell to, but these a lot of times are franchises, so the owners are usually there. I'm from AT&T. We sent you a letter last week. Do you know if you guys got it? Uh, I'm not sure. I, my boss isn't here right now. Okay. He probably would be the one that... Uh, what time is your boss usually here? In the morning, like around 11. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good morning. We just 
pass that on to whoever the owner is. I appreciate that. Best shoes. So the 35, 45. Okay. Oh, a little business right there. That's one that we could actually talk to too. Go get it, Diego. Seven Elevens. This is one that their business structure is very interesting. One, it's either going to be a franchise or it's going to be corporately owned. But sometimes they are franchises. Sometimes the owners are actually there. I've signed up three of them too. So we hit about 15 doors and uh, before I hit the rest of the doors, this customer here didn't have their bill on them. So I submitted paperwork to the back office and it shows that she's paying too much. We came back and it turns out that she was overpaying for the phone. We we're able to drop the price from 100 down to $85. Now the customer's super happy and uh, she has a, a dog grooming spot. So if you guys are ever in Van Nuys, come by here. So we're here with Maggie and uh, we're at the Poodle shop here in Van Nuys and this customer right here was uh, struggling with uh, her business during the COVID time, right? Yes, and uh, she was, now she's finally open and now she's able to uh, uh, have clients here. She grooms dogs. You see a Poodle back there. So Maggie, what do you do? You, you want to explain to the viewers? Yeah, I'm, I bought this business a year ago and uh, it was really struggling, but uh, after the renovation, I had to close, and uh, I didn't get any help from nowhere. But uh, finally, uh, end of May, I was uh, able to open, and uh, well, we are doing good. <laughs> I have nice customers, really nice one, and they understand the situation. I'm really thankful for them because if they are not coming, I'm not able to make the business. On my side, I try to do the best. Awesome. And if you want to say where you're located and what do you do specifically? Yes, it's uh, the Poodle Pop. The Poodle Pop is in a business in uh, 1975. And uh, everybody remembers Sandy who established this business. And uh, I'm really proud to have this, this business and keep going on. And. Uh, Hopefully, it's, everything is going to be fine. Uh, you have me to uh, with a promotion, AT&T promotion, uh, and I got the, the most uh, important and uh, surprised me to get a free CD because I have a lot of uh, question, uh, picture about the room dog and I'm going to make a slideshow. Uh, so it's uh, going to be a big improvement. So thank you, man. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's it. Okay. That's it. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Hey guys, this is what we do. We help business owners during hard times like this, uh, where they're so busy at their business, they don't have the time to call in. And uh, we go to their business and we help them out. So if you guys are ever looking to uh, make some money with us and help customers out, you know, right now is the best time to do it. So just click the link below if you're looking to get hired. We're hiring uh, all summer. 55 a month, okay? Um, so this offers, then ask them for the same promotion or to see if there's a better one, okay? So on um, our website, you can post to your business and know what about it. You want to say to my girlfriend, you live? No, because I keep my business. You want to go? Yeah, I'll go. Don't even do the same as the first one. Yeah, that sale was not going to lie. It was kind of tough, but we made it out alive. We got it. What ended up happening is that we signed her, we signed her up for a certain speed, right? Without checking what speed she qualified for. And then we found out later that we couldn't even give her that speed. And to make it worse, the speed that we had here available in the area was really bad. It was really, really awful. Now, an amateur salesman would have walked away with his tail between his legs and would have given up. But I, you know, hung in the pocket and I pulled some strings and tried to figure out what I could do. And I was like, man, what if I just try to get her with the TV only? And I tried to use my charm and everything that I had in my, my bag of tricks and it played off. I got her to do TV only and I got her to like me. And step one is always get the customer to like you. So if you can get, get the customer to like you, even if shit doesn't go your way, you can still walk away with a sale.